I've just had a go at making a parametric 3D printed wing uh, project for Blender's new geometry nodes in Blender 3.0. I thought somebody might be interested, so here's a super quick run through of the process. When the files first opened, you can see there's a wing object. And this isn't a modeled object, it's generated from geometry nodes, which you can see if we look in the geometry nodes workplace. In the modifiers tab, there's some numbers for the resolution of the wing and a list of the objects used to guide the shape of the wing. In the wireframe view, you can see the result of changing the resolution parameters. The first two shapes are airfoils. There's the root airfoil and the tip airfoil, which I've imported from DAT files from a website uh, using an add-on that I wrote myself. A link is in the comments. The root and the tip airfoils are interpolated linearly along the span of the wing. From the plan view, the leading and the trailing curves can be used to set the shape of the wing. Let's try for a simple Spitfire shape. Let's add some twist to the wing. First, we'll set the center of rotation of the twist, and in this case, we'll make it in line with the hinge line of the aileron, so that when we twist the wing, the hinge line remains straight. Then we'll adjust the amount of twist. We can set that uh, at different points along the wingspan, so we'll set a three degree downwash at the tip of the wing, and then we'll add a 2% positive angle of attack just out from the center line of the wing. The leading edge curve can also be edited in the vertical dimension to set dihedral or a gull wing type shape. Onto the internals for the wings. I've tried a few different things, but at the moment I'll enable the custom ribs. Uh, there they are. They're a little rough at this resolution uh, as Blender's booleans can't quite cope but they'll fix up later. At the moment I'll disable the booleans just to speed things up and we can set the locations of the ribs. For each set of ribs there's a pair of guidelines and we can change the location of the guidelines and the shape of the guidelines and the number of ribs that are interpolated between the two guidelines. We can also adjust the size and location of the holes through the ribs. Now we'll increase the overall resolution of the wing and the rib structures and that should fix up any problems with the booleans on the ribs. Note that the ribs are clipped to be uh, a specified distance inside the exterior of the wing. This is done uh, in the inner airfoil section where the full airfoil is reduced by a specified number of millimeters to uh, generate interior wings that clip the ribs and also clip the hole structures through the ribs and you can adjust the distances involved for these structures. We can add a template for carbon spar and any other standard Blender features. We can add an aileron hinge, for example. We could add uh, a box for a servo. Now I've generated all the pieces that we need to do our final export. What I'll do is take a quick copy of all the bits and put them into a separate uh, export collection, and I'll apply all of the geometry nodes and the modifiers, uh, just to give us a nice, simple, clean set of geometry. I'll use a 200 by 200 by 200 millimeter uh, cube just to define a print area uh, for our printer and I'll just take a billion of the various pieces to fit into that print area space. A final thing to do is to take all the interior elements and flip the normals on them so that they're facing inward so that the slicer software sees these as 
inclusions into the uh, total solid formed by the shell. We'll just export an STL file. Import into Cura and slice and we're done. I know this was a super quick run through. Uh, I thought I'd just gauge if there was any interest um, and perhaps I can provide more details if you tell me uh, what you'd be interested in seeing more of. Catch you later.